Kia ora team, my name's Ben, and today's question is, what happens if I overventilate a patient? So, first things first, if we overventilate, we get respiratory alkalosis. So our body becomes more alkaline as we breathe out too much carbon dioxide. This isn't a good thing because our body wants to stay in that nice Goldilocks zone and if we get too acidic or too alkaline, the chemical reactions in our body aren't going to occur very well. Next up, cerebral vasoconstriction. To maintain a good blood flow, your body responds to the levels of carbon dioxide. If we have too much, then we want more blood flow, so our blood vessels will vasodilate. If we don't have enough, then our blood vessels will vasoconstrict. So now, if we blow off all our carbon dioxide, because we're overventilating, the blood vessels go into our brain, will shrink and get smaller. The next one, decreased oxygen delivery. If our body becomes too alkaline, then even though we have a lot of blood circulating, a lot of oxygen in our blood circulating, then the hemoglobin molecules are less ready to let go of it because our body has become more alkaline. And the last thing is, if we overventilate, we can get barotrauma. If we squeeze the bag too much, then our alveoli, the little air sacs, the little balloons in our lungs, can be overinflated and get damaged. And then a possible consequence of that, if we overventilate too much, then air can explode out of them and go into our pleural space, and that's a pneumothorax. So that's why we want to stay in that sweet zone, and that's why we have the rule of threes. So three fingers on the bag, compressing a third of the bag, and less than three seconds. The other thing that we want is our CO2 monitor that I don't have here, but that goes on the bag valve mask so we can monitor the CO2 levels on our patient. All right, team. Happy studying. <laughs>